Welcome to the Canon TM200 install guide. This video will take approximately 15 minutes to complete and contains audio. Locate two boxes labeled Canon. One will be on top of a pallet. It is important to keep the pallet because the old poster printer will be strapped to it when done. The shipping straps are sent from FedEx separately. The package for the straps will say velocity and have green tape on them. The large Canon box will contain ink cartridges, a small bag with needed screws and tools, print head, power cable, paper spools, printer legs with the necessary components to install them, as well as manuals and the printer itself. Some sites may have an extra cutter, ink, and print head. Give them to the manager for safekeeping as a backup. The smaller box contains the board guide unit, also known as BGU, the board pop-up guide stickers in a Canon folder which contains important information and the decal sticker. The decal sticker must be placed to the right side ink tank. Please do not remove the protective tape from the BGU. It is there to protect you and the store from injury. Please make note of any missing parts and inform the call center right away. Once all parts have been located, the first step is to build the legs. To build the legs, stand the bases parallel to one another. Then insert the crossbar in between, making sure the left and right stickers match. Tighten the four bolts on the bottom. There will be two on each side. Once the printer is securely attached to the legs, attach the arms to the crossbar. Once the arms are attached, there are two bars to attach to the front side. After attaching the two bars, attach the net. The net reaches to the back of the printer where there are two spots to attach the loops. In the back of the printer, you will see two more places to secure the other two loops for the net. After attaching the print catch, use the provided screws to attach the container to the bottom of the left leg. Next, lift the printer and set onto the legs. You will need to ask a Walgreens employee for assistance with this step. It is a Walgreens operational standard. There are two holes under the printer, one on each side, 
and there is a spot on the legs to set the printer down. Screw the printer to the legs using the four holes underneath. The easiest way to remove the old paper guides is to approach it from the front of the printer. Open the cover, remove the spool, and you will see the screws for the paper guide. There are eight screws total that will need to be removed. Four will need to be removed as you're standing over the printer since they are screwed down directly into the printer. The remaining four screws can be accessed from the back of the printer. Notice the placement of the screw in this example. Once the screws are removed, the black paper guides can be removed as well. Give them to the manager for safekeeping since they are no longer needed for the install. To attach the new BGU, set it on the back of the printer where the old guides were just removed, with the tape edge facing out to protect the customer. Looking from the back of the printer, directly under the BGU, the holes for the screws can be seen. Using the screws from the old guides, screw the new BGU in place. You will use three screws in the back. Next, approaching the printer from the back with the roll cover open, look down to see two holes. Use two screws from the old BGU and screw them into place. The final step for the initial build is applying the board pop-up guide stickers and the decal sticker in the front of the printer. The pop-up guides are used to keep board prints stable while they are printing. They must be in the exact correct position or the printer will jam. If you place them in the wrong spot, they can be moved. The decal sticker should be placed on the inner right side of the ink tank. This decal shows the store how to load boards. Now the printer is fully built, plug the printer in and power it on. It is very important that you do not install the print heads or ink cartridges until the printer asks for them. It will cause initialization issues and create additional work for you. Once the printer is on, follow the prompts, completing only the steps that the printer asks. When it asks for ink cartridges, shake them and insert them into the printer, making sure to place them in the correct slots. The easiest way to get them down into the slots is to set the cartridge in the slot, gently start to close the ink lever, the cartridge should fall into place, then push the lever down clicking it into place. The printer may ask for the ink to be reinserted. This just means it did not click into place correctly and needs to be reinserted. When the printer asks for the print head, open the cover, unlatch the carriage, and insert the print head. The easiest way to tell how it should be inserted is to match the holes on the printhead to the corresponding spots on the carriage. After inserting the printhead, Make sure the blue lever and the red arrow are aligned. After the printhead is installed, it will ask you to load paper to perform a printhead alignment. There should be two cut sheets of 11 by 14 paper in the box. Insert one in the top with the roll cover closed and follow the prompts. The remaining sheet can be used for testing a poster. 
If you are prompted to reload, pull the lever in front of the printer to release the paper and reload. There is a gray plastic paper guide on the roll cover you can use to help keep the paper aligned. Once it accepts the paper, select the paper type. Choose coated paper and then coated paper again. The printer will print a rainbow colored pattern when done correctly. After the print head alignment, there are some minor configurations to perform on the printer. Start with the paper setting, then the network setting, and finally, there are some general device settings to adjust. Remove the old poster print driver. It will be an Epson or HP Z9 or an older style Canon called IPF 6400. After removing the old print driver, install the Canon TM200 print driver onto the NetLab system using the connection of the old poster printer, Ethernet or USB. The firmware needs to be 1.23 and it will not arrive that way. There are two tools you will use to upgrade or downgrade the firmware. These tools should be on the Store Photo Lab PC in C Velocity Canon TM200, but you can also plug in your laptop to the printer to use them. If the firmware is above 1.23, use the Pro Service tool to downgrade. If the firmware is below 1.23, use the firmware update tool to update. To update the media files, Canon calls the media files AM1 files. We use the media configuration tool to achieve this. Now that the media files are updated, you have successfully installed a Canon TM200 poster printer. Next we need to test the printer. We should print a standard 11 by 14 poster and poster board. If both test prints are successful, we must perform a short training session for Walgreens staff. We will need to show them how to replace a maintenance cartridge, the ink cartridges, how to load roll paper and poster boards. And lastly, we must demonstrate basic printer panel functions. The maintenance cartridge is only replaced when the printer asks for it. To replace it, press Settings, Maintenance, Check Maintenance Cartridge, and Replace. The maintenance cartridge is found below the pop-up guide stickers. You should find a package from Velocity with shipping straps that were sent separately from the printer. You need to attach the old printer to the pallet using the straps. You do not need to remove the legs. After the brief training with the store staff, you will gather photos for checkout. The necessary photos include, but are not limited to, a photo of the poster and poster board that printed, the serial number, the final page of the install guide, fully filled out and signed by the manager, a photo of the old printer strapped to the pallet, a photo of the board guide unit, the board pop-up guide stickers and decals properly installed, and your manager sign-off sheet filled out in full. The call center may ask for other photos as well. You will create a customer order using a Walgreens kiosk and send the order to the main lab. Then the call center will gather the photos remotely. It is absolutely essential to email a photo of page 37 fully filled out, a long shot of the printer, and a photo of the printer while it's printing to walgreensinstalldocs at cusa.canon.com. This verifies that training was completed. Once this is done, call into the Velocity Call Center for checkout. After you have received your closeout code, the job is complete.